Hello YouTube, today uh, we got um, Lightstorm deck profile, um, we're using kind of the uh, Necro um, deck build where we're going to be doing a lot of milling. Um, this is more of a mantra high, it also is a lot more of a combo oriented deck so you are able to see a lot of different um, plays. So with that we kind of um, have a bit more we can go into. Um, I'm going to be going into explaining the combos. Um, one of the things is here is I'm not putting Honest in the main deck, and the reason is because it's kind of a bluff. So we have the one fleece. The fleece is pretty important, and it does go with Matt Matisse and plays. The free Lunas, again, that is a pretty important monster. Helps with a lot of different plays. The two Lilas, again, where it really does do good instead of using MST. The two Raidens, uh, obviously our tuner right there, and helps us get into a lot of good plays. So that's kind of where the Raiden. The second main weakness is first turn Dark Law, but we have two Raikos here again to help against first turn Dark Law, two uh, Summoner Monk, and two Instant Fusion. So we got six cards in total that help us deal with the first turn Dark Law, which is our only weakness. Also, uh, Sadal Dragon. Um, free, uh, Light Swarms, uh, I'm Judgment Dragon, sorry. Um, one, um, Sadal Dragon. Just for good, uh, immediate spell and trap card removal with Matt Matisson, so that's great. Also, you can mill him, get that, uh, spell and trap. You don't always need his effect sometimes. It doesn't even matter. Um, two Necro Gardeners, um, pretty good for helping stop attack. The uh, two trick clowns, this is uh, really how you get a lot of the fun and the combos in the deck is the trick clown, uh, uh, the trick blade, the combos, you really just get the, the uh, two thousand blades. I find two two is almost the most consistent out of the numbers where you're getting them just enough and being able to do all your plays. The one black lecture soldier on void the beginning, um, obvious, a nice uh, good monster to play. Um, two summoner monks again help us f uh, get into the monsters where we can go into getting out dark game ready dark law or we can get our setup for um, the uh, uh, clown blade um, one glow up bulb actually really insane and fun with all the uh, combos glow up bulb has in this deck like with summoning Jersula, summoning a lot of different monsters it's actually quite crazy, which we'll get into that later on, uh, how Glow Up Ball plays into that. Two Matt Matisson. The Matt Matissons basically lets you mill what you need, like Felice, uh, the Sadal Dragon, Garna, whatever piece you're missing out of your Clown Blade, the Cerberus, or even a Glow Up Bulb. Yeah, actually, uh, pretty good if you're going first play Matt Matisson, get ready Glow Up Bulb, use Glow Up Bulb, and uh, summon Herald, the Arc Light, pretty uh, good first turn combo. Um, performer Power Server, uh, not Performer Power, Pro Pro Cerberus, pretty good. I was trying to run him at 2, but he was just too cloggy at 2. And maybe if he was a dark, he would be good at running at two. But running him at one in this build seems like the proper number, and it really does get what I need out of him. So that's why I've been running him at one. I really like it that way. Um, two instant fusions, um, pretty good. Again, this is kind of card that helps you get out of dark law. Two charges of the light brigade. Obvious uh, free solar recharge again. We're going self explanatory. Two beckoning a light. Ozzy, get back our judgment. Our black lesser soldier. Two breakthrough skills. Um, they're such a great card in light swords. It's why would you never play? Why would you not play them? One bottomless trap hole. One solemn warning. I really like how those cards are playing this deck. It's pretty fun. And also playing real traps does throw people off in light swarms. Two Northern Entities, uh, an Elder Entity, uh, Northern. <laughs> um, you can use another level 4 uh, Fusion, but Northern works the best. Hero Arc, probably one of the best first turn combos because your opponent has to play a card or they have to give up their battle phase to get rid of this card. 
So doing that, you basically make it so you reveal what your opponent playing and it, why I like summoning this card, uh, turn one against my opponent when I don't really know and um, I do have a few couple plays or maybe even just one play in my hand. So that way I know what I gotta deal with and I'm pretty sure how to uh, defend against it. Um, one uh, Nutria Beast. This card, you kind of only can summon it one way with Thousand Blade and Glow Up Ball. Um, the reason why you run this is because this is an auto win against uh, decks that have to place uh, spell cards like um, Sadal's, Klee's, um, what's another good one? Um, the Cloths. Um, one Armadis, um, pretty good. Obviously, it's out of Graveyard's effect. You could use Katasha, you like him better. Maiko, um, really like this monster. You know, at, you can use whichever level 7 synchrons you can. These three is what I like because Ancient Sacred Wyvern basically helps with the OTKs so many times. Maiko just gets rid of problematic uh, back row or monsters like XYZs. Um, Moonlight Rose Dragon um, helps deal that quick damage and also it does uh, put the damper on like Rigel decks and um, Sadal so that's why I like it. Um, one Star of Spark Dragon, um, it has a great protect effect. Um, Hot Red Dragon Arsene since he gets to attack when he he's the only guy who can attack. I think when you use the effect. Um, one Trisula, which I love getting his effect off, and you can pretty easy. One Castell, um, one Dark Rebellion, one Exxon Knight, and one um, number 80. So pretty uh, normal. Now for the side deck, we got the two Honestes. Like I said, Honest works a lot better in the side deck because you bluff it game one, then you can put it in. Game two, your opponent is going to try ramming, and you kind of notice they're going to do some of those ramming plays. The honest is just works so much better in the side deck with those plays. So it's pretty fun to do it like that. I really enjoy it. Um, the one dark arm, you do have a pretty manipulatable uh, darts in your graveyard. So dark arm is not hard to summon in this deck. Um, two light posters. Um, it has such a great effect, and it's an easy special summon. It does help with a lot of OTKs. Um, the hot red eyes metal, obvious. The Sadal Dragon just to add a little bit extra. If you need to destroy spell and trap cards a little bit more in the game. Now the two jugglers here are basically the stop burn decks from beating you and help you get into your uh, trick clown a little bit faster. So that with the juggler in here is the stop burn decks from beating you. Which, um, and then a uh, format that we're going into that's basically going to have a lot of FTKs. That's probably going to be pretty important. The two Cerberus, uh, I mean the uh, second Cerberus. So I like him right there. Kind of go, uh, change up the deck quite a bit. Um, the skill prisoning runs the, that too just to get rid of certain like problematic stuff. Um, this one is personally my choice. You don't have to run it. I did like having another uh, graveyard activation card, so that's why I use this card. Um, so that's kind of deck. The uh, side deck kind of lets you change up the deck to whatever you're facing, but it does normally play one way. So um, have a great day. See you guys again. Bye.